Hello, welcome to Math with Niall. Today we'll be learning about factors. Hi Niall, do you know what a factor is? No. Okay, I'm going to give you the definition and then I want to see if you can guess a factor of a number. So a factor is a number that can go into another number without a remainder. So it can be divided into another number without a remainder. So for example, do you think you can give me a factor of 10? 5. Exactly. Why is 5 a factor of 10? Because 5 can go into 10 and there's no leftovers. Very good. And how many times does 5 go into 10? 2. So, so that means 2 can is a factor of 10 too. Exactly, I like your thinking, I like your thinking. So we can actually do factors in pairs. So you said 2 and 5 are factors of 10. Are there any other factors of 10? Uh, are there? Thank 1. You. 1? Ten times. Ten times? Yes. Brilliant. So because one times ten gives us ten and two times five gives us ten, all of those numbers are factors of ten. Yes. Now look at your multiplication grid and can you find ten on the inside and find the two numbers at times to get ten? So are you seeing any tens there? Ten. Good. So can you show us on the grid what you've just done on the board? So which two numbers times to give ten? Two. Five and two. Good. And can you find the other ten that would give us the factors one and ten? Yeah. There you go. And show and us the one two. and ten. Good. One. And where's the ten? The ten. Very good. So now what I want you to do, I want you to list all the factors of 10 in order from the smallest to the largest. Okay, very good. So those are the factors of 10. One, One two, two, five, ten. and 10. Brilliant. Okay, now, now that you know what factors are, I want you to find the factors of 12. One. Good. And one times what will give you twelve? Twelve. So let's get one and twelve. Okay. Okay. Two can go into twelve. Can two go into twelve? How many times? Six. Okay, so grab. So that it. means six can go into twelve. That'd be good. And four. And four. How many times does four go into twelve? Three. Okay, so what are the factors of 12 now? 1, 2, 3, 4, 6 and 12. Very good, because all of these numbers can go into 12. Okay, let's look at the number 16 now, and I'll let you lead with this one. Now, 1 is definitely a factor of 16. How many times is 1 going to 16? 16 times. So that means 16 is also a factor of 16. 2 rise into 16 because 16 is an even number. Okay, that'd be good. Very good explanation. 2, two. times what? 2 times 8. So that means 8 is also a factor of 16. Wait. 4 is a factor of 16, it goes into 16 4 times, okay. so that means 4 times 4, so we can't put another 4 on there. Okay, very good, so we only need to put 1 4. Um, is, this is that one? it? Um, is 6 a factor of? Well, that's a good time to check your 6 times tables. Is 6 a factor of 16? No. No, it's not. So I think you've got it all there. So put your commas in. Okay. Okay, brilliant. Let's look at the number 24. Ooh, okay. 24 times. 
24. So we want the factors of 24. So where are you going to one. start? Okay, 1. Excellent place to start. 1 times? 1 times 24. Good. Mm. 24. 1. And then 2. Good. How do you know 2 goes into 24? Because 2 is an even number. 24 is an even number. Yeah. And 2. So 22. 2 times what? 2 times 12. Very good. Um, 4. I'm not sure. How can you know for sure? Yeah, 24. Santa, so we can see Santa the signs. So um, yes, 24 is in it. Yes. So, so what does that mean? And it goes in six times. So what does that mean? That four is a factor of 24. Four and what? And six. Four and six, good. Four and six. Is three a factor of 24? You need to check it. Because and see. three goes into 12, Very so that means it could probably go into two twelves. Very good observation. Can you space out those numbers before you check the three? Because it just looks like one big number. You can move the 24 further across. Twenty-four. So the answer is yes, and that, and I saw eight is. So eight is also a factor. So what's yes. the factor pair? Eight and three. Very good. Eight and three. Okay. So can you tell us, can you stand to the side and tell us the factors of 24 in ascending order? What does ascending mean? It means from the smallest to the largest. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 8, 12 and 24. Okay, so those are the factors of 24. Okay, let's do one more and then our... Quiz will start. Very good. Let's do the factors of 30. So where 30. are you going to start? At 1. And then 30 can I also go into 30 once. So okay. 30. Go over here. One more go here. 2 can go into 30. And 2 times 15 can go into 30. How do you know 2 can go into 30? Because 30 is an even number. How oh, do you know 30 is an even number? Because it ends in a zero. Okay, very good. Even so though people are sure and not sure if zero is an odd number or an even it's number. It's definitely even. How do you know? Because it, it doesn't, doesn't have, have any leftovers. When you divide it by? Two. Very good. But it doesn't have a two. Well, you have zero or twos. True. True, 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 true. true. It's like one. One doesn't have any groups of twos. It has zero twos, but it has one left over. But zero doesn't have any numbers. It's it has zero lots of twos with nothing left over. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, two times what? Fifteen. Okay. Fifteen. Okay, what do you think? Five. Why do you think 5? Because 5 can go into 15. Okay, so 5 is a factor of 15, so you're saying based on that it would be a factor of 30? Yeah. Okay, brilliant. And 5 times what will give you 30? 5 times who? You can 6! 5 times 6, okay. Six. Remember you've got your times table grid behind you. Um, is ten. it in ascending order? 10 is a factor of 30. It's not in ascending order. What's ascending order? 
There you go. From ten. Smallest to biggest. So you said ten. How do yes. you know ten could go into thirty? Because ten can go in three times. So that means three is a factor of ten. Okay. And what what about the way the thirty looks that you know ten can go into it? Because it ends in a zero. Okay, very good. So how many lots of tens did you say? Three. Okay, great. Uh One, two, three, five, six, ten, fifteen, and thirty. Very good. So those are all the factors of thirty. Excellent. Yes. Okay, Niall, what time is it? Quiz time! And I also learned a new word today. What word? Ascending. Ascending. And what does ascending word mean? It from one to from the lowest to the highest. Very good. What about the title of today's lesson? Isn't that a new word for you as well? Yes, what was it? You've been doing it. I've been saying it over and over. Have you? Yes, I've been telling you find the something of the number. What was it? What have you been doing? Finding what? Partners. Factors. Factors. And what is a factor? Um, a factor. Two is a factor of ten because Two can go into ten without, without any leftovers. Very good. Which we call remainders. Yes, without a remainder. So those are factors. Okay. All right, let's get ready. So all you need to do, I'm going to give you a number and you just need to give me a factor of the number. Okay? Okay. Okay. <laughs> and you've got to do it quick. <laughs> oh, no. Okay. Now, can I have a factor of six? Three. Eleven. One. Very good. Can I have a factor that both six and eight have? Two. Very good, Maya. Can I have a factor that both ten and fifteen have in common? Ten and fifteen. Five, one. Five and one. Very good. You gave me two. Excellent. Can I have a factor that is not one? <laughs> <laughs> that 18 and 15 have in common. Ooh. That's a tricky one. Three. Very good now. <laughs> okay, last question. Can you tell me all the factors of 12 in ascending order. 1, 2, 3, 4, 6. That's it. One more, the biggest one. And 12. And 12, excellent. Very good, Niall. So that comes to the end of today's lesson. Hope you enjoyed the video and if you did subscribe now, bye! Don't forget that press to press that like button. Bye! Bye! Factors! <laughs>